Be relationships pave the way. Let's talk about relations of your father's and mother's families. You call your paternal grandfather as Dadu. You call your maternal grandfather as Nanu. You call your paternal grandmother as Dadi. You call your maternal grandmother as Nani. You call your father's brother as Chachu. You call your mother's brother as Mama. You call your father's sister as Bua. You call your mother's sister as Masi. You may have some other relations. Ponder and make a list on the same below. Let's begin. A family is a group of people who live together and are related to each other. Relations in family. When a man married to a woman, they get into a family. The first relation starts as a husband and wife. With this relation, many other relations are also started. See the chart for understanding. Immediate and extended relations. Immediate family members comprise of parents and children living together in a house. On the other hand, extended family members comprise of uncle, aunt, cousins, nephews, etc. These members may or may not live in the same house where you live with your parents. Mother and child relationship. Out of all, the beauty lies in mother and a child relation. A baby develops inside the womb of its mother. When it takes birth, it is an infant, then a kid gradually grown up into an adult. During this development, a special bond is developed between the mother and her child as all works of pampering, feeding, washing and studying of a child are done by his mother. A mother takes all pains to look after the child and turn him into a responsible adult. Similarly, animals also produce their young ones and share a similar bond like baby elephant holds its mother's tail to follow her and a kangaroo carries its baby in a pouch. You must know. Some couples do not have a child. Either they adopt or foster a child to satisfy their parenting needs. In adoption, couples become legal parents of a child and look after him for lifetime. While as fostering implies sending money, clothes and necessary items to orphan children and such parents are called foster parents. Family Gatherings Our relatives who do not live with us meet each other during family gatherings such as birthday party, wedding, housewarming ceremony, naming ceremony, etc. These gatherings not only provide opportunity to meet with relatives but also help us to learn about the values and traditions of our family. Family Values Each and every family has values which are related to their culture and traditions. These values change from time to time with the changes in society and mentality of family members. Like it was seen in olden times that ladies covered their face in front of their fathers-in-law but today, fathers-in-law treat their daughters-in-law as their own daughters. Similarly, all the important decisions were taken by the head of the family, but now all important decisions are taken after the discussion and mutual consent. Must try. It is said that a family is the first school of every child. Elaborate this new point by giving examples about what exactly you learn from your family. Note, word counts 100 only.